Hello friends, it's Farman again with another topic of ANR. Today we will discuss ANR and how to tackle ANR with ANR spy library. So let's get started. First I will take a quick overview of that what is ANR. Each running app has a single main thread that runs infinitely and is specific for UI view and widgets. It's mean it is specified by Google to interact with UI views and widgets only. When a long task stays more than 5 seconds on main thread and meanwhile user wants to press any button or trigger event then Android system shows a message of application not responding. So here is the library and its features are to detect ANRs, convert ANR to crash it is most important feature of uh, this library because we are unable to figure out the line where the NR occurs. So this feature will tell uh, to the system that convert the NR to a crash. Trace specific classes methods for NR using this library specific annotations. We will also explain it with a practical example. For example, if you want to trace a specific method for NR then it will generate and trace uh, this method log nr report in firebase and analytics in case your app is live and you want to log uh, nr reports then it will send each event with uh, its thread name time elapsed uh, and function name to your firebase analytics here is the github page of nr spy library i have provided all the documentation of its usage and implementation so here we look at a quick example first implement its dependency then create an instance of ANR spy listener like this next create an instance of ANR spy agent and implement its all methods here is the timeout limit set spy listener set through exception if this is true then nr will be converted to a crash enable report annotated methods we want to trace methods of this class so if we want to trace all the methods of main activity then this annotated will be used and if the parameter is false then only the specific method will be traced for example, if we want to trace my loop in main activity, then this annotation will be used. Let's see and run the app. Here app is installing and as you see that this loop will be run on main thread and will be blocked for 10 seconds. I am running this functionality. Let's see the thread will be blocked for specific time here nr is detected here is one another option if you want to log all nrs in firebase analytics then pass firebase instance here as we have passed already this instance we can get the result in firebase Here you will see that my loop has been logged. Click on it. There are three properties. Elapsed time, method name and thread. This will describe the consumed time. This will tell the name of the method that remains more than 5 seconds on the thread. And this will show the thread name. Main thread method name and elapsed time so thanks for watching and share this with your friends